Hi, my name is Will. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a realtor from Atlanta, Georgia. The reason why I became a realtor is because I'm a people-oriented person, and I love helping people out with the biggest investment of their life. What I'm very passionate about currently, um, political activism with the gay community. In my downtime, what I like to do is hang out with my dog, Whitney, and also friends and family are very important. What I look for in a guy is someone that is dependable and loyal, especially mature. Don't act like someone else. Just be yourself from the beginning. Will is going to inspect the rooms of these three guys. Hi, my name's Andrew. I'm 18, a cheerleader, and I'm a gymnastics coach. I love coaching gymnastics because I get to work with kids. I like to see them succeed. I like cheerleading because the adrenaline rush it gives you. To relax, I um, nap a lot. I love to draw, paint, sculpt. I'm looking for someone who has a great personality that can um, make me laugh. I'm not really picky, but cute. <laughs> Hi, my name's Scott. I'm 21 years old, and I'm a visual designer. To relax, oftentimes I find myself running. It helps relieve stress and keeps me from bashing people's heads in. Ah. Chloe's my dog. She's seven months old, and I love her very dearly. She sleeps with me every night, and I could never be with somebody that doesn't like animals. I don't have a specific type. I think personality determines a lot of what a person ends up looking like. Hi, my name's Ed. I'm 21, and I'm a pre-law student. I love my car. It's a guy magnet. There is absolutely nothing better to me than going seven, eight different clubs in a particular night, check the meat market, see what's out and available, and what tastes good. I love to cook for other people. I love getting complimented on unique creations. I'm looking for a college guy, somebody that's focused. I know what I want to do with my life. I want you to have a clue what you're going to do with yours. The guys have no idea the crew is on their way. Open up. Come on, man, you gotta go. By catching them off guard, they'll have no time to clean up or hide anything. Come on. What the heck is going on? Get in there. Hey guys, you're on Room Raiders. He's cute. Oh, he's cute. And he has a great smile. My name is Will, and I get to choose one of you for a date. Hi, Hi Will. Will. The catch, I don't get to see or speak to you before I make a decision, but I do get to look through your rooms before I make a choice. Well, if you insist. I hope I don't find anything gross, <laughs> but in case I do, I have my trusty spy kit. So let's go. This is insane. Oh my god. Yeah. Hi, right, nice neighborhood. Typical kind of country suburban home. Oh, <laughs> Let's check the interior out. Oh gosh. Okay, nice living room. He's definitely got good style. It's called antiques. What kind of gay man are you? He's got a lot of family pictures around. Aw. Family's very important to me. It looks like it's important to him since he has a lot of pictures out. I do love my family. Let's check out this kitchen. It reminds me of the kitchen I grew up in. Everything looks normal. What family's normal? I know, really. All right, now let's go check out his room. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, no! Maybe he's got the whole basement. The basement bachelor pad. It's like a kindergarten classroom. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think he is definitely an artist. Yep. I love it. I can tell by the handprints on the wall with his paintings. I decorated it. And as far as the, the handprints, these are very cool because he changed these cinder blocks into kind of a, a work of art. So that just shows how he can work at something and make it better. Art is my outlet. We got a cheerleading picture here. Maybe he cheered in high school, maybe? Yes, I definitely cheer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. You can digging through stuff. Digging through <laughs> yes. Stuff. I tell you, I don't know if he knows how to iron or not. It's kind of wrinkly. Maybe I have to buy him an iron. That's for sure. That's why I live at home. I have my mom. She loves me enough to do my ironing. I don't know too much about this one right here. I love that shirt. Um, looks a little hillbilly and kind of country. Yeehaw! Actually, it's kind of like the Madonna look that she was doing a couple of years ago. Just not my style. Rodeo, baby. <laughs> Okay, this is nice. I used to live in apartments. Maybe he lives alone. A little independence. Oh, Lord, that's my house. <laughs> this is actually beautiful. Very upscale. Yep, you better believe that. All right, let's go check it out. It's scary, isn't it? Very nice. Very tidy. You know, I would say he's kind of eclectic with his style. Woohoo! you better believe that. <laughs> I like my styles to kind of flow with everything. Mismatch like your outfit. <laughs> and another thing I notice here 
the tennis balls and toys for his dog that I'm assuming he has. He likes dogs, that's major points. I love my dog. Let's go check out what's back here. Oh, God. Okay, this isn't bad. Who left the toilet seat up? I never left <laughs> the toilet seat up. Let's we'll see how high maintenance he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, what is all this? Well, it's entitled Acne Prone Oily Skin. It's not for acne. It's an anti-wrinkle cream. <laughs> God. Hopefully, he's over that because that wouldn't necessarily be a good thing. No! All right, now, I hope he uses this for his dog. Oh, no, that is my hair dryer. I see another blow dryer, and this is a screaming high maintenance. That's my travel one. <laughs> it's all about low maintenance, getting ready in five minutes or less. Well, too bad. <laughs> so I'm just going to head to the bedroom. Oh, my god, this is so embarrassing. Oh, my gosh, look. Hey, puppy. Bite him. Bite him. <laughs> I think this proves that he has a puppy. She is so cute. cute. That's my ball car. Okay, this is definite points right here. Woohoo! All right, let's see. We've got some whitey tidies here. Oh my god! Oh, oh, hey, I should um probably get my tongs before I start grabbing stuff like this. <laughs> Just get out of the drawer! All right, now we can take a closer look. They look like they need some washing. I tell you that there's a couple of random hairs around. Oh! <laughs> oh, that okay, this must be the boxer drawer. How <laughs> many pairs of underwear do you have, dude? Looks like we have a little stain here. Looks kind of like he needs to do some laundry. Oh! Let's see what kind of style he has when it comes to t-shirts. Kind of raggedy. <laughs> That's it. More stains on the shirt right here. Honey, those are my lounge clothes. <laughs> Oh, I definitely need to get this guy some laundry detergent. You lounge in that? Oh my god, that's all my junk clothes. I never wear those out in public. Let's see what kind of clothes he has. Quit going through my clothes. It's a scarf. Okay, here in Atlanta, we really don't need scarves. I'm just wondering why he has all these scarves. I love scarves. Yeah, so we got a Saks Fifth Avenue box here. And guess what? It's another scarf. That's my Arnold Brandt scarf. That was $250. What? That better be made of gold. And come with a really hot man. All right, now, let's go into the closet, see what I can find. Ah. Oh my god, the closet stretchers. <laughs> He's got a good mix of everything. He's got kind of the club and jeans, and then the twill dress pants. They're wool. So maybe he's into something business-wise. It's called work. <laughs> let's see, we got some jackets here, too. Let's try them, see what kind of build he is. I'm a 40 regular, honey. So he's got a thin build. That's nice. That's definitely plussed right there. It looks good on him. It looks good on me. This is something <laughs> I would wear. I would actually pick this out. You better put it back. All right, he has some nice dress shirts. This is good. I'm impressed because this is stuff I would wear right here. This is definitely my style. Oh, you have something Aww. in Oh, how cute. Yeah. Well, I think I've seen enough. Let's go on to the next place. Woohoo! Thank you. Leave it. This is pretty nice. Maybe he lives with his family. I live with my sister, and we have a roommate. This is a cool little entrance right here. Turn off the TV now. <laughs> OK, this is pretty nice. This is more than a room. It's virtually an apartment. <gasps> I cannot believe this is happening. All right, let's check out his desk. Oh, my god. I see something very cool. Oh, no. It's a letter from the HRC, and it stands for Equal Rights of All People. And that's very cool because I've become very active in politics. He gets points for that. That's very, very cool. Yes! Thank you. Here's his voter registration. Got a vote. Major points for that. Yes! Let's see, we have magazines. Bon Appetit, OK. I don't read this, but I'm assuming that he's a cook. I love to cook. Uh, I know I can't cook myself, but I love it when somebody comes over and cooks for me. Anytime. What do you want? OK, this is kind of cool. He's got a nice living area. It's my couch. Little futon with uh, faux fur. It's llama. Now, he's got some artwork back here. It's color blocking. Yes, that looks like self-made artwork. I did that all by myself. <laughs> and then to go along with the columns with a light shining up. So I'm thinking he's kind of artsy. That's kind of cool. He likes to cook, and he's artsy. Well, thank you. All right, let's go digging in the closet. Yeah, that's my winter closet. He has a whole variety of stuff. First thing I see, this sweater. Um, I hope he's not this small. No, I'm not that small. This fits about a 12-year-old. 
I shrunk it. It's a large if you look at the tag. Got kind of a Henley shirt here, and this is a large, but it's kind of a shrunk, so seems like he's a thin tone build. I'm not that tiny! Maybe about my height. I'd kill to be 6'1". Okay, now this is very cool here. My picture wall, it's all about my picture wall. I like what he's done with all these pictures. I do my best. Because mixed in with the pictures of his family, he's got the cartoons. Maybe he has a good sense of humor. I have a great sense of humor. All right, I thought it was like a whole suite, and it is, because he's got a whole kitchen here. Okay, this is interesting. Oh yes, there's my bowl of condoms. Use as necessary. Maybe this guy gets around. I do not run a brothel. I mean, if you're gonna hide them in a drawer, that's fine, but you don't put them out on the counter. It just makes you look bad. I think it's being totally honest. Well, I'm just gonna head to the bedroom. Oh, no. Okay, your typical bedroom. He up in my room now. All right, let's see what he's got in his drawers. This is too much. Let's see, this must be the underwear drawer. Yes! Okay, he must be really into cartoons. <laughs> it seems like this guy would be someone that can make me laugh. Oh, yes. They look kind of ratty and old. I've had those forever. And he must be really, really slim. 29, 27 in European sizes. Yeah, he must be very skinny. These are almost an extra small. I'm very thin. I can't do anything about it. Eat a biscuit. That's not too good. I like them bigger. Oh my gosh. I've gotten called out. Okay. I just happened to find a pair of these. Those are not mine! Yeah! Maybe he likes to dress in drag. No, there is no drag. No, 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 no. But it's not for me. Oh. My favorite things, right? Beanie Babies. They drive me insane. He is hating Beanie Babies. It's a conspiracy. It's just a sign of insecurity, um, especially with the big teddy bear. I am perfectly happy being alone, but you are cute. I think I've seen enough. No, right. you better go through my other closet, fool. I'm gonna get on out of here. I need redemption from those damn sh <laughs> Okay, guys, what's going on? Going through your stuff. Finding anything you interesting? Your You've got plenty <laughs> of interesting stuff. Well, I'm gonna tell you some things that I liked about your rooms. First of all, it was great getting to go through your stuff. It's something you don't get to do <laughs> every day. Mm -hmm. You get to see what it's like in your personal life. Um, room number one, from all the artwork and your cheerleading trophies, that shows that you're passionate about what you do. So you won't be a bland, boring person. Uh, room number two, I really like that you had a dog and buy all the toys. It shows that you love your dog very much, and that's very cool. And room number three, it seemed like you had a great sense of humor and you had comics all over the wall. I thought that was very cool. But unfortunately, guys, I only get to pick one of you to date. Well, one thing I did find that really got under my skin was the high heels. Not really my thing. Unfortunately, room number three, I'm gonna have to let you go. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> I had some friends in town for the weekend. We went to a costume hey. party and, uh, well, I can't even walk in, but it was good. <laughs> All right, that's me and you, I had fun. And there was one other thing that really bothered me. Sleeveless cutoffs, kind of a Madonna style. It may work for you, but it doesn't work for me. I'm gonna have to let room number one go. That's me, I'm Andrew. I am Will. It's nice to meet hey, you. Nice to meet you. If you need a photo album, you know I got some. <laughs> All right, thanks. Okay, so room number two. I'm Scott, nice to meet you, Will. I'm Will, nice place. to meet you. Definitely Thank you. All really together. I believe that Scott was the best choice um, as far as personality and looks. I saw your dog. I loved your oh, dog. Oh, my dog. Love your dog, too. She's adorable. She's a sweetheart. Will definitely looks a lot better in person than he did, you know, when we were watching him. I was definitely happy I was chosen. Would you maybe want to go get some dinner? Sure, sounds like winter. Grab a movie, something yeah, like that? Yeah, let's go. You never know. It might be something that will last. One thing that Will really messed up on was that my style was stuck in the Madonna 80s era. Um, definitely not. For my friends that know me, I don't do drag. Those were not my shoes. This just proves my running theory that nice guys finish last. So what do you want? Italian. Um, that sounds good. How about the old spaghetti factory? Sounds good to me. I haven't been there in a while. So one thing, though, what was up with all the scarves? I love scarves.